Okay, hello, hello everyone. I'm with Ankit Rihal today, and he's a lead public figure and creator partnerships at Meta. So um, honestly, the way I would put it is, as I already said before, this is Generation A uh, talking to Gen Z. So I had my set of questions, okay. broadcast channels on Facebook and Messenger as well. You already have those on WhatsApp and of course Insta. So you want to tell us about these uh, this new feature yeah so broadcast channels as a as a product or a surface is a very interesting way for you to reach out to your entire audience in a one way communication i think it's a it's a very interesting way for public figures to create uh, or creators to create a very close knit community as they say like you have fans mm -hmm. and then you have super fans mm -hmm. how do you engage with your core super fans in a much more meaningful deep conversational way and that's where broadcast channel as a feature comes into existence mm -hmm. we've seen some really interesting use cases on how public figures uh, are using broadcast channels on instagram and facebook and with this new product available on facebook they'll be able to reach out to a very different set of audiences who follow them on facebook it's a one way conversation where they will be sent text videos they'll be able to send pictures they'll be sent videos so one way yeah one way okay, yeah, fine, yeah. Fine. it's a it's a one way broadcast conversation right now okay. and creators or uh, users who are following the public figures on the broadcast channel they can react to the messages via the different reaction that are available to give their feedback back to public figures in terms of how they engaging with the content right now so for the creators they would put maybe different content yeah. for their super fans yes uh, so this i mean what is the end usage in the sense you already posting mm -hmm. on you know otherwise yeah. so how does the broadcast channel help yeah so in so terms of content yeah. like quality or like got the nature it. of the content got it so for example if a creator has a million followers on yeah. instagram or facebook at this point in time uh, uh you create really edited content for your feed you show a lot of bts content on mm -hmm. your stories yeah, yeah. Uh, but you have a lot of passion areas or things you deeply care about which you want to have more meaningful conversations about you want to go deep yeah, yeah exactly both be more deep be more engaging so i feel broadcast channels is a great way to build your micro communities mm -hmm. where it could be about a passion it could be about thing you deeply care about take feedback from your fans in terms of what kind of content that you want to see from me mm -hmm. uh, give more have more conversational type of content yeah, yeah. Uh, and i've seen a lot of creators especially on instagram right now since that feature was launched a couple of weeks ago already uh, they've been taking feedback in terms of what kind of content do you want to see from me mm -hmm. uh, sending voice notes in terms of how my day was uh, what am i up to today yeah. uh, and also just uh, building communities around things they will feel passionate about and it's not that you just have to have one broadcast channel on a profile you can have multiple broadcast channels so it could be one about fitness one about yeah. fashion one about something else so it's a very different way to yeah. go deeper with the audience uh, which potentially can help you engage with them a little bit more yeah it's kind of nice because yeah. you're getting feedback and then exactly. you can use that for your general exactly. posting exactly. wonderful and if you could just tell me about of course our uh, the you know the ig broadcast channel versus yeah. say the whatsapp yeah. channels yeah. how do you see that i know you spoke about it but yeah. for our online audience i'd yeah. love for you to tell yeah. us a little no so uh, with uh, with instagram when you launch a broadcast channel obviously it's obviously it's limited to the people who are following you but also people who discover you on instagram yeah. it's limited to the instagram audience to a certain extent they can yeah. join your channel but uh, i think this is a very funny saying i heard someone say whatsapp in itself can be a whole country yeah yeah, uh, yeah. that's what i heard on yeah. stage yeah. 500 million whatsapp yeah. users in yeah. india yeah. itself yeah. right So with okay. that kind of universe of people who exist on WhatsApp anybody from anywhere in the world can discover you on WhatsApp they don't need to be on a Facebook or an Instagram because the users on WhatsApp are very diverse very different yeah. my mom my dad uh, like my entire family is uh, uh, on WhatsApp in general they might not mm -hmm. be on digital platforms that's a very interesting way to engage with a much more broader spectrum of users across the world and again in terms of nature of content maybe IG find your niche yeah. and then um connect with your super fans but yeah. whatsapp would be just essentially to reach your numbers a uh, sheer number but also in terms of how you see the content format i personally mm -hmm. believe a lot of times also depends in terms of what the tonality or the message the public figure wants to share with their consumers and fans right so mm -hmm. a, a great example katrina kaif for example is on whatsapp channel if you look at the kind of content she's been sharing it's a lot of unseen pictures videos from her shoots mm -hmm. but she's also promoting a lot of interesting movies or upcoming movies that are coming uh, in general or if you look at yeah. chef ranveer barar he also is on whatsapp channels yeah. and he's sharing some interesting recipes taking feedback so it all depends in terms yeah, of the yeah. kind of tonality that you want to follow 
uh, the interesting part would be you will be probably able to reach out to a much more broader spectrum of users on WhatsApp as okay. compared to uh, micro communities that you want to build on on Instagram in general. So because basically, if you look at India as a country with the different tier levels, you think everyone's not got access to Insta yet, but they will definitely be on yeah, WhatsApp. Everybody has access to Instagram, but, but maybe they're, they're not, not on Instagram not for on for for their choice yeah. or their reason. But as in but even like creators on Insta, not everyone has that uh, option to create a broadcast channel. Why is that? Uh, see, as a as a product uh, organization, mm -hmm. uh, whenever we roll a new feature or a product, it's a phased rollout. Okay, fine. Uh, so it's never a hundred percent that at the same time everybody mm -hmm. gets access to the feature. So usually, what happens is in smaller numbers, we keep rolling out to newer users, and that's another way to test how the product is working. Uh, so maybe a majority of people will already have access to it mm -hmm. by now, but I think it's just a matter of a couple of weeks or months okay, fine. when yeah. it's a hundred percent rolled out. But then everyone has yeah. access. Yeah. So tell us about the birthday feature, only because I was. Yeah. I'm quite excited. Age is just Everybody, a number, guys, I, by the way. I think very few people who are not excited about birthdays in general. I'm definitely a very... But there should be like an anniversary feature, yeah. a work anniversary feature. And that's a very interesting uh, you know. feedback for the product team that we've taken You know, like different sure. milestones in a year yeah. that you want to maybe celebrate and yeah. have like a different uh, touch and feel to your profile. Yeah. So um, no, I'll definitely take that as a feedback for sure for the team. Because but, you know, I think with anniversaries, the higher the number yeah. goes up, it feels like an achievement, but not necessarily with the birthday, right? Uh, I, I think everybody <laughs> would feel a little differently well, about Gen that. Z, Gen Z, yeah, Gen Z, Z loves Gen birthdays. Okay. Yeah, Gen Z loves birthdays. They're still on the that's because in their twenties. The celebratory so. phase of their birthdays at this point in time yeah. in terms of number. Yeah. But it's, it's a fun way, I think. It's yeah, a fun yeah. way it's to tell your feature, audiences yeah. or fans that my birthday is coming up. Yeah, uh, yeah. You want to celebrate that with your broader community, yeah. uh, celebrate with the broader fans. Like it's all, about, Instagram as a yeah. platform is all about building deeper communities and how do you engage with your fans in general. Right? It's just a very interesting way for users and Gen Z also mm -hmm. uh, to enable people to know their birthdays coming up. Yeah. And with the messages and the confetti that comes when you announce your birthdays coming up and they send messages yeah. out, I think it's just a very fun, engaging way. Listen, but the language has to be Gen X, Y, Z, I feel. Because uh -huh. a lot of us are feeling excluded, okay? Because we're not Gen Z. So you need to be like X, Y, and okay, focus on Z. Yeah. No, I think maybe we start with the Z, and then I think X and Y kind of come along with yeah, Z. Yeah. Z <laughs> okay, but since we're talking about birthdays and yeah. festivities, let's yeah. talk about the World Cup. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff, yes. uh, different ways in which you're collaborating yeah. and to make it a better experience for yeah. the cricket watching yeah. audience and fans. Yeah. Um, so tell us about... I think course, CWC yeah. 2023 has been one of the most amazing experiences on what we could bring to the broader community in terms of different content formats. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously with the, with ICC, they have been doing a bunch of stuff on their digital handles on Instagram and yeah. Facebook on WhatsApp channels with the kind of clips content that they're putting out. Uh, the best highlights, nail-biting moments, the sixes and the fours. I think with that clip content coming on the platform is really, really interesting. Okay. But I think they have leveraged... Uh, Working with Meta, we've enabled opportunities for creators mm. to be more engaged with the ecosystem of the creating community. Uh, so we've experimented with a few formats. I think one of them is uh, our, a format called Meta Super 50. Mm. Uh, we curated 50 creators to have never have ever seen before access to uh, stadium commentator boxes, athletes to go experience on the ground and yeah. share with their fans in terms of what the madness and the things and the action that goes on the field. Uh, so 50 of these creators, I think if you have not seen, I've definitely loved the content. Ayotaran, he's there in the room today, or Karishma, or a bunch of creators who've been on the ground sharing those BTS content, sharing their experiences on what happens on the yeah, ground. Yeah. So that's Meta Super 50. Uh, we also had an opportunity where we created another Meta Creator Squad. Uh, where they got the opportunity to, to work and engage with all the captains across teams and create really fun content. If in the room, I, there was a reel that we show for RJ Princey. Uh, okay. And again, they created... I love reel. the translator. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's the one yeah, I'm talking Princey about. Princey Mirchi Love. <laughs> okay, yeah. And that reel that was so crossed funny. for 74 million organically. That was so that's funny. Insane. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, the like, beauty of organic content yeah, yeah, and the yeah, right yeah. collaboration just brings that flavor, the access and the fun content that you want to see on the platform. Obviously, outside of that, uh, there are some really interesting things that we're doing on threads. Uh, we That's have, what my, my next question, that yeah. yes, how can we use threads to kind of 
get up close and personal with all the action that's going on on the cricket Yes, field. there is. Uh, we are running this uh, property called hashtag Ask Star and Ask ICC. So if you just follow, I'm use that to ask. Uh, yes. Well, care. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's let's do that. <laughs> Maybe before we loom today, we'll probably do one <laughs> one thread or asking what's what's yeah, going to happen no, on I the should. ground today. I should. I should. <laughs> but yeah. it's a, it's a very fun way. So all the creators. Uh, who are on the ground obviously are doing mm -hmm. a lot of AMAs, they're asking their fans in terms of what kind of... So it's a, it's a perfect unification across surfaces, like they're asking their fans on threads, asking on, on broadcast channels, yeah. and with the content they're putting out in terms of what's the content you want to see from the ground. But with Ask ICC, Ask Star, uh, you are able to see more real-time conversations with the experts on the ground uh, in terms of uh, a fun banter, fun Q and A, fun AMA conversations in general, I think that's these are the few things or experiments which have been working really beautifully well so far. No, I love it. I mean, everything that you're doing is just yeah. amazing. I think the best part about um, it's unfiltered, right? Creators yeah. from India can showcase their creativity to the rest of India, yeah. and then use huge platforms such yeah. as the World Cup Absolutely. to do so. So thanks to you. Thank you. So, so yeah. really, really yeah. uh, and nice. And I'm glad you're enjoying that piece of content. But also, they're also doing some really interesting stuff on broadcast channels also. So ICC, like you said, were the first ones to be on Facebook channels. Uh, there is also Instagram broadcast channels. So, if, uh, so you will see how they are diversifying content across different surfaces to make sure users have different yeah. touch points to experience different type of content in general. Okay, so now we move away from the World Cup and ask generally, yeah. what is the recipe, the formula, and asking on behalf of everyone in the room yeah. to crack it on, <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, you'll see some reels yeah. just blowing up yeah. and some could be the same kind of content, but they yeah. fall flat. Hmm. So, uh, how does it work? Tell how us. How does it work? We want to know. I think, I think if there was, <laughs> if I knew the answer at the back of my mind, I think I would have been the most popular person no, but, in but the ecosystem. Wait, so I was told yeah. five seconds and I was, it was yeah. updated to four seconds and now you're like, People literally watch the first three seconds, so it's like make it or break it in the first three seconds of yeah. say a reel. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. No. So I, I, I think if you take a step back, I think the mm. first and the core thing for any content or a creator to be successful on the platform is authenticity. Yes. I think how do you bring your authentic self to your community, to your fan? Because people do realize very early on in terms of whether you are being yourself or you're trying to basically put a facade or like trying to do something which might be mimicry or for mm. on the creator. So I think the first and the foremost thing is be authentic. Second is how are you making sure the content you're creating is leading to a more engaged community? Because if you're not building content for engagement, mm -hmm. if you're pure play building content for just views or trendy content, mm -hmm. you will not be able to l make the run last a lot more longer. And I think third and the most important aspect is how do you make sure the content that you create is engaging? Now, engagement, engaging content is a very broader spectrum uh, and uh, if you break it down, I think in my in my B school, one of the things we were taught was the elevator pitch, right? Like yes, you walk yes, into the absolutely. elevator yeah, and you yeah. only have like five seconds or one minute to make that pitch and make yeah, sure. Yeah. In a similar way, if you're making a reel, you have to think what are the first five seconds? Is that content? Because a lot of time what happens is I, as a consumer, I would open Instagram to get entertained mm -hmm. and I might open it for a shorter duration of time when I'm scrolling through the feed. The first five seconds of the piece of content, if that catches my attention, the probability of me staying on the piece of content and spending more time to make sure I watch yeah. it till the end plays a very important part. So how do you make sure the hook or the, the first five seconds are engaging enough for me to stay tuned on that piece of content mm. and make sure that you create content for conversations and not just for consumption. It's a very small thin line because uh, if you just create content for consumption, I will just watch that piece of content mm -hmm. and I might not really engage with that piece of content. But if the content is really engaging and has sparks me to have a conversation or sparks me to share that content with my friend on DM, mm -hmm. like, oh my God, like, mm -hmm. look at this content. Like, like all, the, all the young folks yeah. on Instagram, I have gazillion groups. I'm not young, but I still have a gazillion groups with my friends where I keep sending memes or yes. interesting pieces of content yeah. on DM. The core is how do you land in DMs? Mm -hmm. The core is how do you build shareability of your content and make sure the content is fun, engaging, and the, f and the hook is right in the beginning so that the content retention uh, stays to the end. The hook is right in the beginning, I think. Exactly. I and think the, I, and yeah. the other part also is uh, make sure you latch on to the trends early on. And mm. trends, I'm using that word very loosely, you can be a trend setter. You can make your own trends. But if there is a conversation like a cultural moment or a pop culture moment, like culture is born on Instagram, but if those cultural moments are happening on the platform, 
how do you lean on those early on how do you leverage them exactly because the conversation is really high yeah. and people are looking for that content like durga pooja for example yeah. is happening right now yeah. and i my feed is full filled with pooja content and if i create content on that probability of me Reaching my content getting discovered would be a lot more higher a lot more. And what about the trending music and yeah. the correct hashtags? How does that also play a role? Yeah. Does that play a huge yeah. role? The trending music again? Abs yeah. Absolutely, I think music. So again, it's like music. this, uh, like what's already exactly. being exactly. shared and talked about. But the thing is, if you the the interesting part would be to uh, create your like discover the music which is trending early on. Like you see, there's mm -hmm. a trending tab yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, music. Yeah. Discover the music which is trending early on and create your version of it early on. To be part of the wave. Right? Exactly, exactly. So it's all about. your perspective on that music hmm. it's not that every time you have to dance on a music yeah. track but it could be you can use the same track while you're cooking yeah, you can yeah. use the, the same track while you're driving but yeah, what's yeah. your like authentic self what i spoke about earlier mm -hmm. how do i perceive this content to be played and to be reused that's what the audience is uh, connect with uh, with with a lot in a more. way it's like the correct kind of collaboration exactly. only right exactly. exactly i think a creative friend of mine told me it's all about infotainment like mm -hmm. you're informing yeah. but you're still entertaining yeah. so and that should be the fine line that like yeah exactly you know, exactly like, that's what i'm saying like so, the 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 thin line between conversations and consumption you have yeah. to just make sure you balance that out so you're building content for conversation and entertainment at the same time uh, because uh, if you are able to strike that formula that's what drives engagement that's what drives uh, shareability that's what drives make sure the content is discovered a lot more faster well this was uh, i think short and sweet right. we're done and thank you so awesome. much for this thank chat you. and thank i hope you. i i hope i threaded it well together absolutely <laughs> <laughs> you definitely did your yeah. bit thanks thank so much thank you thank you <laughs> nice talking to you thank Same you here.